Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back. Today we're going to try and put our signatures into our journal cover. And so I've made a template for the hole placement because I'm going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch. So what I did was I folded a piece of cardstock into three, tried to space them evenly. And then I folded this in half, and then I put, I folded it in half again at the ends to get my three or six rather holes placing. So I just put holes in the center of where the folds creases met. And so that's how I got those. So now I have to put the holes in the signatures after just quickly making sure I have everything in the right uh, direction here. Okay, so that's all good. Then to just make sure they are even A little bit too thick to staple this time, so I'm having to use binder clips. And somehow they moved already. Honestly, for me, this is the worst part. Just making sure everything is lining up. So I think I have 11 pages plus the uh, pocket in the center of this one. And what I do is just place my fingers in the very center to hopefully get the, um, the middle centered as well. I'm hoping four will do it for, for binder clips. All right, so then I need the center and I'm just gonna try and place that in the middle because the signatures are smaller than the cover. So if you see here, I drew a line I don't know if you can see that or not. I drew a line on this side and on this side to show where the paper should go. That way my um, placement for the other signature should be the same. And I'll put in one more clip. Okay. This part is always seeming to be awkward, so I'm just going to do it and hope for the best here. So I lined up the hole. Wow, that is really thick. So then I go to the hole on this side and I push through. out and then align the hole on the last one here. Okay. 
then I am done with that center piece. I'm just going to keep that in there for a second. Then I'm going to sew the one in. So roughly one, two, three. I like to leave a little extra just in case there's a snafu somewhere. I'm going to need two of these. So I'll just take roughly double. All right, so that's that. Then, let's see. I could probably just, well, I'm going to sew one in first, see how that goes. So, where these holes are marked, I'm just actually going to try and poke that through. And that's kind of what I thought um, the original binding was a different idea. So now that I have decorated the outside, I'm going to have the puncture marks. Originally, I was going to do the signatures on a separate binding and then um, attach the binding to the spine. Does that make sense? But I was gonna have an inside spine and an outside spine, I guess. But I had to move to plan B because that didn't work out for me. That's okay, it'll be fine. It'll be amazing. Okay, done with my all. Now, I'm gonna make this the back one. Okay, so line them up. And I need to thread my needle. Okay, start in the center one. Line that up. Push it through. Then pull, leaving some thread here. Then I will go to the bottom hole. line that up. Then I'm going to go all the way to the top. Line those two up. Pull it through there. Every time I do this, I feel like it's so awkward but I really haven't found a better way to do this for large or larger journals. So 
so we'll just keep doing it this way maybe one day it'll get a lot easier so okay there's another spot there that I need to fix there's the first hole that's okay it'll be easier to it's mostly cosmetic stuff now and two I might um, put some lace over it I like that look anyways so all right so now's the part where we don't want to split the the thread and it looks like I am already doing that okay oops when it comes through it still looks like it's Try and go through the top there. It's a little loose, I just gotta tighten it before I do too much here. Before I tie it down. But I want that rope or that string. I want the needle on the other side of the center string there. All right, so there's that. I'm going to tighten it with this end here. Okay. about right there all right so then the knots I've heard different ways of doing this so however it works out I do like to um, kind of wrap it around one over there and then this side oops, this side over here just wrap it underneath pull it tight towards the middle and then tie one more knot And then I actually like to do a bow. And trim. And if I really wanted to, I could also tie a knot with the two loops to further secure it there. All right, so that is the first one. So yeah, a little cosmetic damage, but I'm keeping the pieces so I can either just glue them in later or decide what else I could do there. All right, so that one's in. So then we just repeat the process for the second one. So yes, I had decided that I wanted the signature in back. So the other one, I just find it easier to work from the back to the front. So I will I 
I will now line up this one. So I had some fun when I was making some more of these pages. Um, I found some pictures in a magazine that I liked and I sewed them to my papers and I just had a lot of fun doing that so that's a good way to incorporate um, things you like in magazines. They are quite flimsy, so they wouldn't stand on their own. They wouldn't be strong enough by themselves, so. And I did notice that the signature is a little different size-wise, but that's okay. I'm gonna embrace the difference. doing this Monday morning. I have decided I'm going to try and participate in a challenge at um, Shabby Dabby Duda. Tina is doing a tag challenge this week and it'll be my first time participating in such a challenge but the first tags she made were so pretty I thought why not try it up until now I haven't done any challenges because um, I didn't think I knew enough or how to do it or I don't know I just didn't feel competent but I'm just gonna give it a whirl and see what happens so look for a couple, at least a couple of extra videos this week with the hashtag tagtastic. And I forgot to secure that down. So just make sure I actually have that where I want it. Holding it with my fingers. And the third hole is right there. Okay. All right. Well, one more to go. Oops. Yeah, great job there. Don't forget your. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could always tell when it's Monday. I love Mondays. Okay, I think I have it now. Oops. Don't move. It was a little too easy when I didn't have the cover. That was my first indication that something wasn't going quite well. All right, so I'm going to put it in at the bottom this time. Lining it up. There we 
go. And then all the way to the top. And then through the top hole in the cover. Okay. Yeah, you don't want too many threads hanging around here. Okay, so then through the middle. Tell me if you like sewing and signatures. I find each time it's a little different, so. And I did get the thread again. Okay, so that piece is on that side, so I want this one to come on this side. Yeah, I think I have just way too much thread here. I thought it was three and a half times the length of the signature, but I could just be completely not remembering that correctly. Okay, I'm going to take these off so I can have a better idea of where I'm at here. Such a big feeling of accomplishment once those signatures are in. Kind of how I gauge whether I've accomplished something today or not. All right, that's just way too long. I'm gonna cut that down. Okay, so I forget. I think I tied that one knot already. All right. All right, oh yeah, that's right. One more knot with the loops. Okay. There. I think that's good. Yes, yeah, some pages are sticking out a little more. That's okay. I don't mind that. It adds to the look, I think. And so...
right now it's still closing very, I mean these edges are coming together. Once we start putting things in, it'll probably look a little more like that. Gator mouth, right? All right, so I'm just going to, for now, put those um, cosmetic touches back on. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to do the lace, but I think I probably will because I like the contrast between um, things that look rough and tough like metal and soft things like feathers and fabric. I like the contrast in the um, textures. Perfect. Okay, so then just going in there. even tell that anything is a miss there or was a miss except for the thread and the hot glue Yeah, I had another idea for hiding the um, signature thread there. So um, I'm going to keep thinking on that to see what I come up with. Because one of the things I thought I could do was to wrap a ribbon around it. Um, I haven't looked into that yet. But this is as far as I have premeditated, I guess. So, I think, oh, I added some stamped butterflies to that red and green page. It just seemed like it needed something extra. So, there's that. And I vaguely outlined the sunflowers and the ferns and for this page here I used magazine page again but this time I backed it onto uh, a, a piece of paper that I had just painted on roughly and so I decided to use that as a background then I sewed it on there and attached some lace. And uh, yeah, that's one of my favorite things so far in here. This I could attach and make a pocket out of. I haven't decided yet. But we will continue with that next time. So I do thank you for joining me and I hope that was if not entertaining, then maybe gave you the courage to try this for yourself. <laughs> you can start smaller too. It doesn't have to be such a big thing, but practice, right? Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.